one and two and So this is a video to help you practice the cup of tea. Now if you look this up on the session.org, you'll find some dots for it. There won't be a lot of bowing, so this video is mainly going to be about the bowing patterns that I use. Tried to stick with the same one, but it's hard to keep it totally even, and it's kind of boring if you don't ever change up where you put the slur. But I'll give you a general idea for where the slur goes. We're going to slur three eighth notes together, so you mostly want to be thinking in eighth notes. And now reels are technically in cut time, in my understanding, so there's two half notes. So we really have two beats. We can count it one E and a, two E and a. And we're gonna slur the and, the uh, the last beat. We're gonna slur over the first two beats, or the first two notes, or the first, um, so yeah, the last quarter beat slurs over the first two notes of the next one, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, it's a three note slur. So I'll start right at the beginning of the tune here and we have this. So there's your first three note slur. <clears throat> and the, uh, although we often start on an up bow, the rhythm still grounds down on the, to the down bow. So we have this. So we have all these pony bows going on. So a way that I like to teach this bowing is actually starting on the pony. It makes it easier to remember. So we have, Two ponies, four notes, pony, pony, and then we have a real, an accented bow, a rip, and then our three note slur at the end. And you kind of want to think about it at the end, but it's also the beginning because it, it's the transition. So that's why we start on that slur, because it is the transitional note between the re repeats, okay? So when we begin, we start on that, and when we end, we actually end there. So is your transition. And let's actually start on the on the ponies first. So 
There's your pony. Pony, pony, G, F sharp. Oh, I can't say my voice is totally gone from summer camp. So there's your pony. And then our rip comes next. So we have pony, pony, rip, slur. And that's our, that's our main bowing pattern, okay? Rip on the E again. That was not a good rip. The rip should kind of bite into the string and then stop. So there's a little space. You still want it to be nice sounding. A good trick tip for these tunes is to just kind of move further away from the bridge so it's not so crunchy when you're doing these bitey things. That's nicer, there we go. So, pony, pony, rip. And the ponies are smaller, like, not a big deal. And they're swinging a little bit. Da 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 da. So it's not an even beat. An even beat would be da 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 and that's to help people dance to it, because people's bodies don't move in an even, you know, even manner. They, 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 let's see, which one's longer? Up is slower than down, right? Because it takes all the energy to jump, and then gravity pulls you right back down. So up, down, up, down, da, ba, bra, da, 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 la, da, la. So that's it there in the music the whole time. fun things with the bowing and switch it up when you get bored but I would recommend starting with this pattern so I'm gonna go really slow and I'm gonna start on the slur but then I'll s and I think I'm gonna end on the slur each time as well so you can see how the slur connects each of the phrases so phrase one here uh, I did the rip too early sorry here next slur I recommend practicing each of the slurs so you're like that that's where it is. All right. Now I'll go from the first slur to the second slur. Okay, now I'm going to start on that slur and go to the next one. You'll notice the third slur is the same as the first slur. So now I'm going to go from the first slur to the third slur. There's four slurs per phrase. Okay, so that's as far as we've gotten. Now starting on the third slur, you'll notice it's the same as the beginning. This is where it changes. The fourth slur goes down now we're down to the D chord okay so we've been minor darkness darkness E and then we finally go to the open D on the fourth slur so practice that slur and then we go pony is all of your D major arpeggio okay so Going from the first, I'm going to play now the, the whole first phrase. There's four slurs per phrase and two phrases per part. So phrase one of, par of part one. So if you weren't aware, you can totally slow down this video so that um, you're able, if this is too fast for you, you can change the speed down below. Super awesome um, 
feature of YouTube. Another thing really worth mentioning is that these slurs, whenever you come to this slur, it has a sort of swell in the pressure to get it to sound right, and that happens in the bow, so. You can see as I'm going through, and I shouldn't lift off the string, stay on the string. My slur, there's like a little scoop in it. So you can hear that the middle note of the slur is a little bit more important than the other ones. Da -dee -da, da -dee -da -da. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead, I'll play that whole first phrase again. One, two, three, here we go. Here's the second phrase. I think it's actually the same. Oh, I ripped too soon, sorry. Ah, oh, no, the, the ending's different. Okay, so it goes a little major-y all the way up to the third finger D here. Okay, so here we go. Let, let, let me break down that second phrase. Now, if you're, really, if you're getting something out of this video, you're practicing along with me, I would love it if you could, could subscribe. I'm trying to monetize my YouTube channel and that would super help me out. Here's the second phrase of the A part. A part is like the part one, the first part. So here we go. Here is the second phrase. It starts the same way. So that's the first two um, like mini phrases there, exactly the same as the first phrase. But then we do this. It's the same slur, but we do something different after it. So this is the third slur of the second phrase. And we rip on the B, okay, so we rip on the B, so. That's it. That's my slur and my pony pony. Rip on the B, and then here's the new part. We go. It goes from the second finger to then to the first. Two, three, one. Interesting slur. And remember, the middle note's more important. And then we rip on the D. Okay, so let me show you that again from the C sharp slur, pony, that's just uh, like an arpeggio with a G in there, third finger, and then rip, and now we made it, that's it, okay, <laughs> that's the whole first part, I'll play the second phrase for you uh, a couple times, and then we'll try to put it together, here we go. to rip on my B. All right, that was the second part, kind of slow. I'm gonna now do the whole A part. I'm gonna repeat it twice and I'll shout when I'm repeating. Now this is the whole first part, eight measures long. Same thing with two different endings. One and hear me up. Um.
like that. There was the Boeing. So I think I'll stop this video here. That was the A part, and then I played the B part right, right there. There are two more parts to this tune, and I'll make more videos to cover the next parts, and I'll put them all together in a playlist. So there should be a playlist on my YouTube channel called The Cup of Tea, and you can look for the other parts there. I'll review the A part in the next videos so that you can just follow along in the series and learn this tune. And let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to make specific videos. Um, I do take requests in terms of practice videos, different speeds, different tunes. And I'll talk to you all soon. I hope you got something out of this. Thank you so much.